We'll start with Maggie. Um, go ahead, Maggie. Hey, Crystal, just wondering how your transition to Atlanta has been. I know you haven't really been there a few days, but how it's just gone in terms of getting adjusted and um, into this into their system. I'm doing the best I can. It all happens fast, um, but they've been really welcoming. I uh, some familiar faces over here, Husky family, so it's been okay. Thank you. We've got Atlanta News first. Go ahead, Atlanta News first. Hey, Chris, just, just going to talk about, um, obviously, the Open in general. It's a big night for everybody. Everybody's just really excited. Just talking about starting the season as a whole. Good. Um, this opening night, not oh, this opening night tonight, but it's open night for us um, tomorrow. Um, Energy is going to be high, um, but we're focused on us. Uh, we have really high goals on the team um, where we see ourselves finishing at the end of the season, but we're going to take it one game at a time that starts tomorrow. What sort of things have you seen in just the time you've been here so what, that, that leads you to believe that this team definitely is going in the right direction and can do some big things this year? Just holding ourselves accountable, you know, um, uh, paying real close attention to detail. Um, and it's happening amongst the players. It's not really the the coaches is having to harp on us time and time again. It's the players doing it. And we have a, a great chemistry and respect for each other in doing that. Thank you. Let's go to Megan Hall. Megan, go ahead. Hey, Crystal. Um, good to meet you. This is Megan Hall with USA Today's For the Win. I uh, just wanted to ask you, I guess, what's been your favorite part so far? I know this journey has been very, very quick, but just wanted to get your thoughts on general vibes in the team. We've got some jokesters. Um, I think the fact that we can crack on each other and it just keeps going back and forth is really special. Um, and like I said, they've been welcoming. It's been familiar faces, but even the people that I hadn't met yet, they've been really nice to me. Thank you. Let's go, Emmanuel Glaze. Go ahead, Emmanuel. Hey, Crystal. Welcome to Atlanta. Um, talk to us about your goals for this year. I know it was uh, you just got the call not too long ago, but you come in and the season about to start. So, what about your individual goals that you'd like to accomplish this year with the team? Um, just no matter what's going on, continue to um, have the belief and confidence in myself that I worked the entire off season to get back to. Um, and help the team win games. Like I said, we have a lot of goals for this team, high goals, where we want to finish, um, and, and that's really just it. And playing in the backcourt that has Ryan and Alicia, how's that to be able to play with them as well? It's pretty easy. You know, um, we actually were playing off each other better than I could have thought it could happen so soon. Um, so I'm really excited to see how that translates into the games uh, this week. Right, well, good luck. Um, Raphael, we'll go to you. And conversion. So has Coach um, Wright talked to you about as far as your role, as far as how many minutes she plans to play you? Or is she going to bring you in slowly or so? Raphael, could you start that question again? You kind of broke up a little bit. Sorry about that. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Okay, sorry about that, Chris. So I was saying, has Coach um, Wright said anything about as far as your playing time and what she expects from you, you know, since you're just coming into the team, you know, I think it was like the the first preseason game. Nothing specifically. Um, I think my job anywhere I go is as a point guard is to put people in their spots, put people in places where they're going to be successful, and then uh, take my moments when when they are uh, when the opportunity arises, uh, and and that's what I do. I play both sides of the ball, um, push pace, and I'm a winner. So that's what's going to translate out onto the court. Awesome. Thanks for your time, Chris. We're just going to bring Tanner in now. Go ahead. Hey, Tina. I just wanted to ask you. You know you. Didn't play the W last year. Why come back this year? And specifically, why sign up Atlanta? Can you say that again? Sorry, there was a bang in the middle oh, of your sorry. question. Oh, sorry. Oh, yeah. Um, you know, without, coming back to the league this year without playing last year, why come back now? And why specifically sign up Atlanta? Um, everything is just God's will and God's timing. Um, I just give thanks. I'm just giving glory to Him. I'm just thankful for the opportunity. Uh, it always means a lot to me to be with. Familiar faces with Tanisha and Dan, where we started in New York. So I'm just here to help enhance what they have going on here. Cool. Thank you. Go ahead, Willie. Hey, Tina. Uh, Willie Ramirez with the Associated Press, WGRamirez.com here in Las Vegas. 
you know, last year we saw this team one tier lower than that could have achieved greatness. I think just the closing instinct in fourth quarters. Um, you've seen a lot of talent. You play with some great teams. Curiosity, the chemistry that Tanisha and Dan have built, how impressed have you been with what's waiting for you and some of the new additions this year to sort of put the final pieces together and what this team has the potential to be? Um, for me, it's no shocker what Tanisha and Dan has been able to do. Um, you know, Dan was, I think, back-to-back -back exec of the year. Um, you know, it's it's no shocker in just his field, just how he's able to put teams together. Um, Tanisha and Dan have been together since New York. Tanisha as a player. Um, and Tanisha has always been a coach. You know, me being a teammate of hers, she's always been a coach on the team. Um, so just what the strides that they've been able to do to turn this team around or this organization around within the three years they've been here, um, it's not a shocker to someone who's been up and close and personal um, with the both of them. Um, that's just what you want in this league. That's how this league progresses. That's why you... That's why we're able to have more teams because of the stellar play and just the discipline that they have and just the accountability. So um, that's just their standard as individuals. And it's just a snowball effect to everybody else around. Great. Right, thank you. Go ahead, Megan. Hey, Tina, this is Megan Hall with USA Today's For the Win. Um, wanted to ask you about Cheyenne parker Tyus. She spoke so highly of you uh, just a couple days ago and the relationship that you guys have. What's been your observation of what it's like to work with Cheyenne? Um, I would just say her willingness to just um, receive feedback. You know, she wants to be great. She wants to be on. She wants to be dominant on both sides of the floor. It's not just an offensive game. Um, so for me, it's just really easy. She asks questions. We try to get in the gym. She likes to be about post moves, about certain players. Um, so the feeling is definitely mutual. Uh, I've been a fan of hers. We played abroad against each other in China. And we've always had a friendship. We've always had a friendship. So we work really well together. And we'll finish up with Emmanuel. Emmanuel, go ahead. Hey, Tina Emmanuel Glaze from the Crush Sports Talk. Talk to me. You, you know, you've been in the league for 16, a little bit over 16 years. And coming back, how are opening days still for you at this point in time? Are you still excited? Are you still looking forward to it? What are opening days like, opening games? I'm definitely excited for opening games, just because I don't know how many more left do I have of them. <laughs> um, <laughs> so for me, it's definitely special having taken off last year to, to have an opportunity to be back in the league, to play with it, to be one of the 144, um, to play against top talent. Uh, I'm just looking to enhance this league and, and just go out there, still be a presence, and just help this organization grow. Um, it's, it's wonderful to be in Atlanta. Um, it's, it's amazing to see how God works and puts people in positions. So it's going to be a fun, fun year. But opening night, I think every team is looking forward to it just because of the growing eyes and the, just the progression of, of the WNBA. It's really special to be a part of. Not the fact that it wasn't before, but even especially now that it's being recognized at the heights of its level, it's really special. And last one for me, real quick. How do you feel about your career, you being a part of the enhancing of the game and continuing to enhance the game and going into this year? How do I feel? Um, I feel very content, you know, um, to be one of the 144, as I said. I'm very humble. Um, I know I definitely have had an impact, whether it's my competitive edge, words of wisdom, as we were just talking about Cheyenne Parker. Um, and it's just things that I just have to keep doing amongst those who are younger than me and just even to my equal. Um, so it's, it's really great. It's, it's really great to just see the turn of the tide. Like Candace Parker just retired. Epiphany Prince just retired. Someone I grew up playing against since I was 10. So I, I, I know <laughs> I know my time is coming. So I'm just going to try to enjoy it as much as I can. That will. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it.